First up on today's program, we're gonna be teaching you something very icky, but what lurks deep inside your washing machine. Ooh. Now here we are in the darkest depths of Kevin's garage and I've brought my washing machine in because this segment is gonna make your skin crawl, literally. We've all got one, no matter where you live in Australia, we've probably all used a washing machine as well. Most of us just chuck our stuff in, press start, and then walk away. But what if I told you that this is potential breeding ground for bacteria? I mean, you throw your kid stuff in there. If you play sport, you throw your sporting gear in there. If you've got a pet, Kevin's got a dog called Walter, he just throws his bed in there and presses wash. That is a harboring ground for bacteria and other nasties, which can actually reduce the life of your machine. Some washing machines could harbor more bacteria than your toilet bowl. Think about that, that's gross, isn't it? Some bacteria are also becoming resistant to various bleaches. And no matter what cleaning chemicals you use, there's always gonna be a bit of brine and a bit of slime inside there. I really wanted to show you what it's like in the interior workings of a washing machine. So I've got myself an expert here today. Good to see you, Paul. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Walter. Nice to be here. He's a man who can rip apart this machine, and we're going to have a look what's deep inside there. So, Paul, you know, this is my machine. I've only had it probably four years. So I don't have a family, but I've got a dog and everything. It looks really clean to me, to be honest. What's on the inside? You'll be astounded when we take this apart. Uh, because I'm expecting that this will be like every machine that we see. You wash in cold water all the time. This Just to be few, energy efficient, really. And it's Absolutely, and that's what people do. You know, it's, uh, but it's going to be ugly. Well, let's um, let's get it let's get it apart. I mean, you can show me how to rip it apart if you like. Let's, sure. So we're just going to pull the bell All right, we're just going to pop this out off first, and uh, we'll just lift this back. Oh yeah. And as you can see, when you look down here, it looks beautifully clean. It does, the inside um, of the barrel actually does look clean. So I wouldn't think there's there any kind of particular bacteria or any problem with scum build up there. Uh, hey. Absolutely, but if I just take the, the centerpiece out of here and I pull this out, just have a look at that. Oh, wow. That's a whole different ball game, isn't it? Let's pull the barrel out, mate. Let's have a look inside. Sure. So I'll just put this, pull this skirt off to one side. See, even around here, look, it just it accumulates everywhere. Yeah. So there's <laughs> hairs. I'm not sure what sort of hairs they are, yeah. but they don't look great. Just don't touch the outside of this bowl, please. Oh my god. So actually, this is what it should look like down here. Absolutely. This is oh, it's damp as well. Yeah. It's actually. And this, of course, the water would go on the outside of here as well and go inside too. Absolutely, yes. And what happens is that um, unless you give it a clean regularly, you're going to get little grey, dark marks on your clothing. And that's this stuff breaking away and feeding back into your wash. So, Paul, we really probably need to give this machine a good clean, you know, and advice to do this at home. Um, reducing this amount of grime and slime and everything has to prolong the life of the machine, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's like cleaning anything, you know, you keep it clean, uh, you're going to extend its life. Yeah, look, there's lots of different ways of doing this and there are lots of different products on the market. We've tracked down um, a product in particular which is pretty good. Um, like I said, there are lots out there. This one we've tested and we actually are getting really good results from, so we've given it a Healthy Homes tick of approval. It's actually from an Australian company, it's called Rub It In, and it's Washing Machine Magic and they've got the uh, Ozby logo on there. It's biodegradable, so it's safe for septics and things like that. But it literally is made as simple as pouring a tub of this into your machine and then pressing start on a full cycle. It goes through a cycle, spits it all out, and actually can help reduce significantly the amount of grime, slime, and bacteria in each machine if you use it regularly. So there's a couple of different options you can use. We've found that the industrial strength product is the good one to use if you're doing this for the first time. So if you've got a machine you've had like three years, you get a bit of build up with three years, wouldn't you really? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And particularly if you wash in cold water. 
So this washing machine magic product actually flushes out the built-up detergents and scum and all those calcium deposits we were talking about, Paul. Um, it's got like a four-in-one washing machine maintenance product. It actually cleans, sanitizes, and deodorizes your machine and kills the bacteria as well. It breaks down all of that um, build-up behind your bowl, which we've seen when we pull that here today, and kind of help you scale your heating elements is too. You pour it in, you press start, you walk away and it's clean. This one is then something you can use for regular one to three month intervals and you do the same thing. You just empty your washing machine, you pour it in there, you put it on a full cycle and then let it rinse out. Yeah. Go grab yourself some of this, give yourself a run through of a cycle and hopefully this can prolong the life of your machine. Paul, thanks for everything today, appreciate it. It's an absolute pleasure. And you can take those home with you if you like. Well, that's very kind. Keep Gloria happy. She'll Absolutely. love you. <laughs>